it's Russia, and today's video is going to be a What's in My Volleyball Bag Summer Edition. So if you guys did not know, I've been playing varsity volleyball for four years now, and I will be going into my fifth year of varsity volleyball, and I have a lot of, like, experience in volleyball. I'm cons I personally think that I'm a very great player. I mean, I did get MVP for this last season, so I'm extremely thankful for that. But, um, yeah, so I want to share with you guys what I keep in my volleyball bag because I do carry a lot of different things. If you guys want to see a what I keep in my volleyball bag for preseason, during my season, and also even tournaments. And also, if you guys want to see, like, a tips video for volleyball, make sure to leave a comment down below and let's just get started. Okay, guys, so the first thing that I have in my volleyball bag is my water bottle. Now, I don't usually keep this inside my bag. I usually clip it on or I just hold it in my hand. I really like this water bottle. I got this water bottle from Marshalls. I think it's it's super cute. It has, sort of has like a broken ice or like a ice detail that's like inside. It's super cute. I also did put a Brandy Melville sticker on it because I just thought it would give it a little bit more personality. And also just in case someone has the same water bottle as me, I will know this one is mine. I also really like this because I really love this button feature that when you click it, the mouthpiece of the water bottle pops up and it's super sanitary and I think it's really awesome. Next thing that I carry in my volleyball bag are just a pair of pink running shorts. I use these when I am traveling to and from volleyball just because I do take public New York City transportation and I don't want any creeps looking at my butt while I am wearing spandex because that's weird and then sometimes they try to talk to you and you don't want them to be next to you. Um, the next thing that I keep in my volleyball bag is a towel. Um, I play volleyball three times a week for five hours um, at a time in the summertime so it's really important for me to have a towel because sometimes your shirt really just won't do it your shirt is going to be soaking wet from sweat and then you try to take your shirt and wipe your face and it's just putting more sweat on your face and it's gross so I like to just have a really big towel that I can um, you know use to wipe my face and just my body and this one is from Nike the next thing that I like to carry with me in my volleyball bag is a headband. This is just a pink headband from Lululemon. It's super cute and why I really like Lululemon headbands is that they have like little grips on like the inside so it makes sure that it like sticks to your hair and it doesn't slide all over the place. That I have in my bag are these really cute blue spandex. In the summertime, coaches are usually really lenient when it comes to what you can wear, um, especially when it comes to camps and clinics. You can technically wear whatever you want, unless there's some sort of like you know dress code or whatever. And I really love that because during my regular season, I can only wear. Um, black spandex unless it's practice so I think these spandex are super cute they're from the brand Marika Tech I will leave the name to all the stuff that I have in this video in the description box but I think these are super cute they don't ride up because I have that problem all the time and I love them so much the next thing that I have is a hair tie because just in case I forget mine or someone else needs one um, the next thing that I have are my Nike sneakers. These are not my volleyball sneakers. I have two pairs of sneakers in this bag. These are my training sneakers. So these are sneakers that I use if, um, you know, I'm doing like strength and conditioning that day. Or um, I wear these when I'm going and coming back from volleyball practice because you're not supposed to wear your volleyball sneakers outside because they ruin them. Because technically what happens is if you wear your volleyball sneakers outside, they get scratches on the bottom of them. And then when you try to wear them on the court, it doesn't grip the court properly. So you're pretty much sliding all over the place and that's not good. And they just ruin your shoes overall. And volleyball sneakers are very expensive. So why would you want to pay another $100 or $150 depending on the addition that to get for another pair of volleyball sneakers so yeah not fun um the next thing that I have are my actual volleyball sneakers and these are my Mizuno wave bolt twos these are one of the older editions of Mizuno but I absolutely love these sneakers so much so anyone that has something to say about my old Mizunos they are my babies um as you can see they're not even dirty on the bottom like I said because you're not supposed to wear them outside um I love them they're so so comfortable um but if you guys are Asus wearers and you play volleyball like you wear Asus brand sneakers please tell me how you like those um I think I might want to get Asus sneakers for practice and then I just wear my Mizunos for my games so the next thing that I have in my bag is just a snack. I keep craisins. Um, they're just like a light snack that won't fill me up and won't make my stomach hurt. But they also give me a little bit of like, you know, energy to keep moving throughout practice. Because when you're in doors in a hot gym for five hours, 
you sort of get over it and you're just like, I want to leave, I'm hungry. Um, the next thing that I keep in here is my Ralph Lauren Refreshing Body Mist in the scent number four. I really love this because I feel like it's a really light mist but it also missed you so it's not like a harsh perfume and it's not like too overpowering because sweat sweat and overpowering perfumes do not mix at all um the next thing i have is an extra pair of socks just in case i forget my socks um i have a baby powder i also have my downy wrinkle releaser spray just in case my bag is smelling a little funky after practice the next one I have are my knee pads. I have Mizuno knee pads. These are an older edition just because I personally like the thicker bands. But I have friends that have told me that the thinner band is a lot better and it grips to their knees better. And it doesn't slide down because I tend to have that problem where my knee pads sometimes slide down when I'm like diving for the ball. So definitely most likely might get a new pair of knee pads. So if you guys request another volleyball video, you guys will probably see those knee pads in another one. Um, the next thing that I have in my volleyball bag is my Rosebud Salve Smith's Lip Balm. And then I also have my Men Degree Dry Protection Body Heat Activated Extreme Blast Deodorant. Yes, I use men's deodorant when it comes to volleyball. Actually, I use men's deodorant all the time because I have, like, sweating problems and I sweat too much. So it's just good for me to wear men's deodorant because it helps with my sweat. So... That's it for my volleyball bag video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see any more volleyball related videos, make sure to leave a comment down below as well as like this video. Guys, I really think that we can get this video to 100 likes. Let's get this to 100 likes, guys. We can do it. I believe in us and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.